Next, we move on to the two-heat hypothesis. This was proposed by Knudsen in the year 1971 to explain the development of retinoplastoma in both the familial forms of cancer and also in the sporadic forms of cancer. So, uh, here it's obvious that this retinoblastoma, it occurs due to the mutation in the particular gene, uh, PRB. Okay, so uh, this mutation in only one allele, it's not enough for the development of the disease. Okay, so uh, heterozygosity of the RB allele, it's not sufficient for tumor formation and this condition is called as asymptomatic. Okay, so they have a mutation, the cell has a mutation, but it is not sufficient enough for the development of the uh, tumor. But when there is a second mutation which is developing in the other allele, which, is, which was earlier normal, then that results in the loss of function in both the alleles. Okay, so uh, this loss of heterozygosity, it is going to play the very vital role in the development of tumor and also the loss of uh, function mutation. Okay, so uh, we know that uh, any chromosome it's going to have the, the it is made up of it consists of the genes and these genes uh, it has two alleles one is from the mother and the other one is from the father. So uh, this uh, earlier if you see here uh, both the alleles are found to be normal and the child it has no abnormality in its allele also. But later on, one mutation has developed in only one allele. So, uh, here if you see this condition, uh, uh, the earlier, the former condition, uh, this is called as a homozygous condition because both the alleles are found to be same. But now here we can see that one uh, allele is found to be mutated. So, this is called as a heterozygous condition. Okay, and this is the first hit. And now, during the due course of time, the other allele also has got another mutation and, uh, and together it has two mutation and this is called as the second hit and this is the loss of heterozygosity and that results to the development of cancer. Okay, similarly, in germline mutation, okay, so uh, this condition occurs in the sporadic form. The former one occurs in the sporadic forms of cancer and the second one occurs in the germline germ line mutation. So, this results in the inherited forms of cancer. So, here we can see that the mother allele is found to be defective. Okay, and uh, we can also see here that this is a uh, offspring and this has one defective allele and this is a heterozygous condition and later on the other allele inherited from the father this is also going to develop one another mutation and this is the second hit and this is the this condition is called as the loss of heterozygous and this results in cancer okay so this is how this uh, retinoblastoma is found to cause uh, cancer in both the familial forms and also in the sporadic form Okay, so with this we come to a conclusion of this uh, tumor suppressor gene. So in the next video we will be discussing about the another tumor suppressor gene that is P53. Thank you.